If you have a business website, there's one area that can help increase your credibility and potentially earn you new customers, clients, or leads. Business reviews. Why? Because it helps to increase customer trust and improve your conversion opportunities. A Google and Yelp business reviews provide an easy way to gather these all-important testimonials on how great your business really is. But how do you go about adding them to your website? Well, with Ultimate Add-ons for Elementor, it couldn't be easier. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do just that. If this has piqued your interest, let's take a look at how it all works. Before we do, let me just quickly introduce myself. My name is Paul C and I'm here working with Brainstorm Force to bring you a selection of tutorials on getting more from the Ultimate Add-ons for Elementor plugin. If you'd like to be kept up to date when new videos are released, be sure to hit that subscribe button and smash the bell icon. So let's start by taking a look at the finished result and then I'll show you how to build your own version. So we're back on our restaurant site and one way to get new customers is to have those all important testimonials. So we'll scroll through our design and as we get towards the bottom, you'll see we have a section for happy customers and these are being pulled in from either Google or from Yelp. So this is what we're going to create. Next, let's take a look at how we create it. Now the first thing you're going to need to do before you have any review showing on your site is to connect it to the relevant account. To do that is quite straightforward. We're going to come to settings and from there we're going to choose UAE and inside there we have a list of all of the different widgets we have available. We're going to scroll through until we find the business reviews and then we're going to just open up settings. And from here we can insert our business reviews API for Google and Yelp. Everything is set up. Now, if you don't know how to set this up or you don't have accounts set up for your business reviews in either Google or Yelp, there's full descriptions in links in the description below so you can see exactly how to get this all set up for yourself if you've never done it before. So check those links out to get you up to speed. Once that's done, we just need to make sure that everything is saved and then we're now ready to connect up and start outputting our business reviews on our site. I've opened the page I want to edit in Elementor and now I'm ready to drop in my business reviews. So we're going to scroll down to the location that I've got, which is our happy customers, and we're now going to insert the relevant widget. So we're going to search for business reviews and there's our business reviews option. We're just going to drag and drop that underneath our heading and that will then insert everything for us. Now you can see if we want to, we could drop in our Google Places ID or if we're choosing Yelp, we can drop in the ID there. But it is much easier to drop that into the settings like I've just demonstrated because then everything is localized and we just have access to that on whatever page we want to use business reviews. Okay, let's take a look now at the options we have on the left hand side for how we can configure and choose what information we want to put in, style it and all those kinds of really useful pieces. Okay, the first thing we have is the skin. So we have a couple of predefined starting points. Default, as you can see, is on screen right now, but I can choose the card option if I want to, or I can just choose the bubble option. And each one of those has a slightly different design. Next up, we have the review source. You can see we've got Google Places, we can choose Yelp, or we could have a combination of both of them. So you can see if we switch between them, we'll pull in the relevant data from that particular API, or we can mix and match the both of them together. I also want to just quickly draw your attention to the fact that each one of these business reviews, if you look in the bottom right hand corner, you can see the icon that tells us where that review comes from, Google, Yelp and so on. So we can see exactly when we mix and match where those reviews are coming from. Okay, so let's just leave that to the Google and Yelp option and we'll set that back to be default. Now underneath that you can see we've got some extra options. We've got reload reviews after a certain number of days. You can see we can choose hour, day, week, month or year. So it's up to you how you want to do this. Generally, I would say, unless you're getting lots and lots of reviews every single day, probably day or week is probably going to be perfect for most use cases, but you have those extra options should you need them. Next up, you've got your layout. And inside here, we can choose various different aspects of how things are going to be laid out on our screen. You can see we have a grid option or a carousel. So if you like a carousel and you want to have more of these reviews, but you have a limited amount of space, this could be the perfect option. So you can see we can choose the number of reviews. There's a maximum set value inside this. Let's just set this to something like five. And then what we can do is we can say how many reviews do you want to show? How many slides do you want to scroll? And what kind of navigation, whether it's infinitely looped, autoplay, or it'll pause on hover. And then you can also control the speed of the transition and the autoplay itself. You can also set equal height inside here, which obviously will generally tend to make things look just that little bit neater and tidier. So it's great to have those options. Next up, we've got filters, and this allows us to choose how we want our data to be output. You can see we can filter it based upon the rating, 
no filter whatsoever, or the review date. Then we can choose the minimum rating. So if you wanted to restrict your reviews to only being a certain star rating, you can choose that inside here. Next on our list, we've got the reviewer info. We open that up, you can see we can choose to pull in an image for that reviewer. We can enable or disable that if we want to. And you can see once we disable it, that removes it from our layout. We can switch it back on. We can choose where that's going to be positioned, the image size. So we get full control over how we want everything to look. So you might say you want to be this above the name. We can do just that. And then once that's done, we can adjust the size of it to get exactly what you want. You can adjust the alignment. You can see we can set the overall alignment. We've got the review and name. If you want to enable or disable that, you can do just that on there as well. So you can see there's lots of options inside there. We can choose the review date. We want to show that. If we don't want to show the dates on there, we can disable it. We can adjust the color on there. We can use global colors. So if you're using Elementor's global color scheme for your theme styles, you can reference all that as well. Your ratings, you can set that to show or hide. You can customize the rating so instead of using the stars, you could use something custom if you wanted to. You can adjust the icon size on there. So if you've got really good reviews, you can bump that up to make it totally evident so no one can miss how amazing your business actually is. Then there's your review text, which you can style all that. And again, we have all the same kind of options inside there. So you should have everything you want to customize the amount of information that's going to be displayed, how that information is going to be displayed, and loads more. Next up, we can jump over to the styles option and then we can really come in and fine tune and configure not only the content that's going to be displayed, but how everything is going to look as well. So for my example, I want to change the background color and make it just ever so slightly transparent. So I'm going to select the background color as it is and adjust the opacity on there. We'll scroll that down a little bit and you can now see just a little bit of the image behind it, which is what I wanted to achieve. So again, you've got all the controls you want. If you want to remove the border radius, you can remove that. You can adjust your padding, your border types, all those kinds of useful pieces of info. So let's just get rid of the border on there. And we've now got a much simpler looking layout. Jump over to the spacing. We can adjust the column gaps if we want to. So we can make those as tight or as loose as we want. So let's just set that back to about 25. The image spacing, so we can drop that down a little bit and separate those stars from the image. And again, the same goes for the star rating. We can drop that down, the review date. All these options are there so we can just add those little perfect refinements to make sure everything looks absolutely fantastic. Your navigation, well, you can control that as well. So we've got the position of the arrows, the colors, the size, and so on. So let's just have a look and change those to a different color. So we'll set those to white. So now we can see those on the background, making everything just a little bit clearer for the user to see and we'll do the same for the dots so we'll just set that to be white as well and as you can see we can increase the size of those if we want to so we can bump those up to make those just a little bit larger and a little bit clearer and the same goes for the arrow size we can adjust those to make them totally clear and obvious to the end user finally we have the typography option so you can see we can control the typography for the name the date content read more and so on so we might say the date doesn't really stand out too well. Well, we can adjust that if we want to. We can adjust the font. We can adjust everything on there. Or if we want to, we can just use one of our global styles. So you can see we can set this to be accent, for example, and that'll change that on there. So you have full control over all of this. So now we've created our custom business review section. We've styled it. We've pulled in all the data that we want, all inside the business reviews widget as part of Ultimate Add-ons for Elementor. As you can see, incredibly simple to do very very quick and you can get some great looking business reviews for your website now it really doesn't get much simpler than that all done with ultimate add-ons for elementor now if you enjoyed this video and you found it useful and you'd like to be notified when new ones are released be sure to hit that like button give it a thumbs up share this subscribe smash the bell icon all the usual things and don't forget to check out ultimate add-ons for elementor for more widgets as always all of the applicable links for everything covered in this video are in the description below. My name has been Paul C, and until next time, take care.